Hello everybody and welcome once again to ApostolicSundaySchool.com. Today we have another great, great daily devotion for you. And this is a quarantine edition and guys, this is Tuesday and we're done on, well Saturday is when we're done with the daily devotion because Sunday is live Sunday School. So it's Taste Tuesday we have uh, today. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, five more today. And it is today, I count today as one of them. see, today, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, yeah, five total, including today. And when those are done, no more daily devotion because we get, can get out of our house and the quarantine's over. But we are going to go to weekly devotions after that. So we won't be completely away from you guys. But we're super, super excited because we got another mini object lesson from one of you guys. And here it is. Take it away. <laughs> Hi, my name is Amaya from Minot, North Dakota, and I'm going to talk about how your soul sets on fire and your soul doesn't set on fire. So, if you live for God, uh, you're dry, and if you don't live for God, you're wet. And this will happen if you live for God. And if you don't live for God, you won't burn. You'll burn, but you won't you won't get on catch a fire like this it is. Thanks for watching. Yes, yes, that was so good. You guys are like like many Bible scholar, theologian, scientist people. It's pretty impressive. And I really, really, really enjoy all your object lessons. If you want to record one, record it and put it on YouTube and send me the link to info at apostolicsundayschool.com. And another thing I enjoy is the joke of the day. And now it's time for your joke of the day. I wish people would stop being so cruel. They need to stop killing those buffalo for their wings. <laughs> now, a lot of scavenger hunt going on, if you guys remember, of course you do, and yesterday I gave you the hint that said it, you put it into, into things, you put it into things, and that was hint number one, and now for hint number two today, is it something you can hold, you can hold it. Now, I had someone send a answer to the scavenger hunt yesterday, and they were super, super close super close now uh, let's just say they were on the right track but I need it to be more specific let's put it that way but for everybody else hey we're gonna get at least a couple winners off of this maybe two or three so if you think you know it take a picture of it and send it to info at apostolic school.com so today guys we're gonna be doing an object lesson for you about something super super important you guys know what that is it's airplanes that's right today we're going to be doing an object lesson on the important topic of airplanes aerodynamics and flight I mean how wonderful is that you know the Wright brothers were two great guys wait no my object lesson wasn't on flight was it I'm confused I actually don't remember what my object lesson was on why am I have you guys ever done that? Like you have something on your mind, you're gonna do something, and you walk into the room to do it, and when you get there, you can't remember why you're there? Well, the older I get, the more times a day I do that. And maybe that's why I'm holding this, this little paper or glider airplane thing, is because I had, you guys hear that loud car? That happens every time I do an object lesson outside. I think they do it on purpose. Anyway, so I have this, uh, so, I may as well just fly it, right? Well, here we go. This, this is a cool plane. I got it, my wife bought it. Can you guys see this? Here we go, set, go. Okay, maybe I didn't throw it hard enough. Let's try this again. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. This thing doesn't work. I am so mad. I've got this plane because I wanted to play with it. I wanted to fly it all over the place and have fun and look at it. It's not flying. I'm taking it back because it's not working. I'm going to take it back and be so mad. I'm going to say, your plane doesn't work. And they're going to be very upset too. And they're going to get my money back and maybe extra money too because they feel bad for me. What? What did you say? I forgot to put it together. But it doesn't say anything about that. Let's see. Um, oh, wait a second here. Some 
assembly required. Wait a second. I gotta put this thing together before I can use it? I have to assemble it? Okay. Hold on one second, guys. Look, guys! Hey, I took it out of the package and I put it together. I put the wings on it and I put the stickers on it. Well, maybe it wasn't me, but my wife did anyway. And now I have this nice looking airplane. Um, let's see, I assembled it. Let's see what's gonna happen now. You guys ready? Here we go. Ready, set. <laughs> Are you serious right now? You will come down this instant, young man. Whoa, did you guys see that? Once I spent some time assembling it, you know it's a little windy right now. When you put stuff together, it works so much better. You know what that reminds me of? The Bible says in Hebrews that we should forsake not the assembling of, our, of ourselves together as the manner of some is. Pentecostals were meant to assemble. We weren't meant to do online church, you know what? I know we had to do what we had to do for the time, but we need to assemble. So guys, we need to revisit the importance of church. Whenever there's church, it should never be a question of if we're going to church tonight. We should just know there's church, we're going. Every single time, no matter what. We're not going to forsake the assembling. We gotta be with our brothers and sisters because without that, how are we supposed to go to heaven, right? You can't fly if you're not assembled. Whee! You tell me, which one's better? This one or this one? The one in the package, which one's gonna fly better? We all know that this one is because it's together. All the components are put together. The Bible talks about how the church is like a body. You know, we're all members in particular. Somebody's, you know, maybe the wing, Some somebody's the, uh, the front of the aircraft, the back of the aircraft, but we're all important. Guys, we need to be assembled together. And I want to do that. Whee! Just like that. <laughs>